Hello everybody and welcome once again to Blood Magic. If you remember some time in the past I was trying to get fluid to move between um, the altar and the tank and I couldn't get it to work but I figured it out so let's have a look at how we do it. So what we need is, are a few things. So let's put down, I've got a tank here with some an empty tank and I've got a tank with some blood in it. Actually it's got one bucket of blood in that tank so let's put that one down there and let's come over here and put another tank down somewhere like it doesn't matter very much which is empty you can see it's empty and it tells you to press shift it's empty you can look on this one here it says shift you've got a bucket in it good so now what we want to do is transfer the fluid between here and here and what you'd normally do is the way i was expecting to do you put down a master routing node like this because you need to do that anyway and then you put on top of this uh we need an output and an input routing node so you need to input it into the network. So this is like the import, which is this one. Just double check I've got the right one on there. Wouldn't be the first time I put the wrong one down. And then we do this one over here. So that's the output routing node. So all, all you should then need to do is connect these up. So let's connect them up. Let's press, let's right click that. No, shift, <laughs> yes, let's take my armor out of there. That doesn't help very much. <laughs> let's shift right click that. So that's setting the location. And then we right click it onto here so it's now linked to the master we can do it either way it doesn't make any difference we can shift right click here and then we can right click that one oh and he's done it actually he's done it, he did it. so you can see the two are linked together but you'll notice that no fluid is coming in here so what you do and this is really simple <laughs> and just don't ask me how i didn't figure it out before you would expect let's say we need to put in here a filter we have to put a filter in here so, so what we need to do whoa everything's jumping around here's a filter nope <laughs> what is going on here let me just press escape pick up the things i'm dropping try that again right let's say removing oh i don't see what it was doing there let's right click this again without the with we'll something else in our hand like this so let's put the filter into this one shift click it in and you'll say it's set up one bucket so it's going down and you can set the number of buckets in here so let's say one we're going to push put one bucket of fluid in here and i'm not sure that's going to work or not so look. nothing's happened and that was what was confusing me so what you do let's go make some more fluid routing nodes because you need two one for the input and obviously one for the output um because it doesn't work any other way and of course I've lost my armor so let me put my armor back on again and we go a bit faster so now let's have a look at this one is the recipe for this one so you need four buckets and one of these frame parts all of this of course is made in the um, hellfire forge for the, the frame parts and the rest is made by crafting so I've got a, I've got a filter let's split those two up but I don't think you can actually do it like this but let's just have a look can we right click this in there or shift right click it in there no you have to put it into a node and you'll see i'm going a bit faster now so i think the one we need to put it into is the input routing node here like this so let's just shift click that in there and then just put a bucket of life essence which i was calling lp before and it doesn't matter what number you put in here now that's gone from here as you can see and it's now over here fantastic so let's put and take another bucket of blood out of here like this and put the bucket bucket of blood in there and you'll see that's also gone so i'm not quite sure what the numbers mean on here because i would expect it this was set to one oh no it's set to two thousand life essence okay so let's go and get another bucket of blood which we can do easily enough by going up to the altar here i think we can just right can we right click or do we have to put it into the altar let's just put it into the altar like that and go and get it from over here you'll see that was very fast and the reason that's very fast because i've got the charge charge nodes or the charging nodes in here which are basically making the craft crafting almost instantaneous before i do that i'm going to come along here and just change this again i'll uh, change this one and let's just click that let's just say two i'm not sure whether it's two buckets or two thousand milli buckets to be dead honest with you and let's put this bucket into here now what happens nothing it stays there so let's come over here now and then as you can see it should be one bucket of here and there should be two buckets in here which are it's correct so let's come along now and change this and let's make this say three 
and we'll see if that's actually doing the business it doesn't seem to do the business this is what so let's now change it to click that again so it's set to three let's change it to three thousand and indeed it has gone out of here so i think it's millibuckets because as you can see so that's all we had to do so in order to get this to work which is what i was trying to do i have to set this up correctly so all that that's already set up as you can see and it's everything so all the items that are supplied will fill this up so it's basically zero means everything actually let's have a look at that because that was also interesting on here and this one says ghost item amount 3000 okay i'm assuming it's milli buckets so all we now have to do of course is link this up so we shift right click on that one and then go to the master routing node here and let's now link to that one shift right click this one and come up here to the altar and link it all together now in here we should find we have uh, one bucket again which I've got up here and, and ghost item mount is two because um, it doesn't make any difference let's put it to zero oops what's happened there come back please thank you very much I want my I want my pickaxe back again so now it would take any blood out of here let's have a look if there's any blood in here and it has already taken out of here 1000 millibucket so it has definitely taken a bucket out and where has it put that bucket to I guess I might be in the network as it happened because this was already full and this has got 3000 in um, so don't ask me don't ask me where it's gone to <laughs> anyway that's how it works so you just have to have the buckets in both ends of it it's as simple as that So that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Just a bit of information for you. Anyway, until next time, bye for now.